Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Glad to be here. Uh, good morning. Uh, today, the Subcommittee on Research and Technology and the Subcommittee on Energy will be examining the federal government's uh, science agency's ability to drive innovation and deliver scientific achievements using artificial intelligence. AI will play a crucial role and an important role in our society and in our economy in the coming decades. To be clear, artificial intelligence is like the first powerful microscopes that allowed humans to see details into the physical world hundreds of years ago. Microscopes today continue to unlock secrets in medicine, material, and countless other innovations. AI is also like the emergence of computer technologies that in just the last 75 years uh, have done amazing things. Today, machines help us solve problems at unprecedented speed and unimaginable complexity in just seconds, like how to safely navigate to the moon and get home safely, or like how to examine DNA information, looking for clues and diseases and potential cures. Just some of the things that computer technology has done. AI is, a, is simply a tool that allows humans to see complexity and insight into huge amounts of data of our modern digital age. For example, artificial intelligence may vastly reduce the times it takes to increase the accuracy when doctors, uh, sorry, vastly reduce the time it takes and also to increase the accuracy when doctors evaluate cancer cells, increasing diagnosis and treatment options at a critical moment. AI is a powerful and exciting tool, and like all new tools and technologies, the risks and opportunities must be understood, and we also must confidently move forward. Given its untapped potential, the federal government and its agencies have an important role to play. Why? Simply put, the billions of dollars that the federal government has invested in science over a very long period of time has produced invaluable data sets that hold secrets that AI alone can unlock. These AI-enabled discover, uh, AI discovery could be transformational in energy, medicine, materials, and many other areas. Similarly, the federal government has tools like high-performance computing resources that are unique and powerful for creating AI-generated algorithms from this remarkable data set that they possess. So let me dive in here for just a minute. The National Science Foundation supports university research while fostering next generation workforce. The National Institute of Standards and Technology, part of the Department of Energy, develops standards for trustworthiness in collaboration with industry. The Department of Defense uses its own research laboratories as well as uh, the industrial suppliers to develop AI technologies to keep our nation safe. And of particular relevance to my energy subcommittee, the Department of Energy maintains and develops the federal government's AI infrastructure through the national laboratories. Of particular importance, the national laboratories are critical in developing next generation workforce that will be critical to our nation's future with artificial intelligence. Given its unique data sources and its dedicated access to computing and unique experimental facilities, that's where data comes from, the Department of Energy is strategically positioned to lead and accelerate AI development. The Advanced Scientific Computing Research Program, located within the Office of Science, conducts cutting-edge computational and networking research. It also manages the most advanced computing systems in the world. According to the uh, top 500 list of the fastest su supercomputers, DO, uh, the Department of Energy, excuse me, the Department of Energy operates four of the top 10 of these uh, supercomputers, uh, including the only two exascale computers in the world, uh, Frontier at Oak Ridge and Aurora at Oregon. Uh, because of these extraordinary tools, uh, the DOE is well positioned to lead and to play a larger role in this ecosystem as it relates to artificial intelligence. Uh, today's hearing, as we dive into NAIR and other uh, programs that are in place, you know, we're going to try to explore where the federal government should and could lead and use our unique resources to drive AI-fueled innovation here in America uh, for Americans. So, uh, you know, as Congress uh, continues to support this research, I hope that there's new innovation that comes out of uh, even this dialogue. And I look forward to our conversation today. I yield back. 